What is up YouTube? How y'all doing? It's Doc Wilson here and I'm still over at my brother's but uh, today we're gonna work on his car just a little bit. He's got to remove the tent and I need to make a video again so yeah we're gonna do that. He's kind of already started on a little bit. I'm kind of late to recording but uh, if you guys can see right there there's a film on this side not a film on this side so he's like taking the tent off and I know this doesn't seem tinted because he's already like removed the tent layer that's what it's gonna look like and that's kind of what it looks like in between tents. So just so you guys can see that's what the tent is before uh, He's already moved that layer on the front one. He's just removing like the uh, It's like a two-layer thing. So I, I don't know but he's removing it. care to explain what's going on okay this one's got two layers also so all right so basically uh, what I'm doing is I'm gonna take and uh, send my car in I'm gonna get the tent redone on it because uh, the tent that's on it has been on it for well since before I even owned the car and I bought the car back in 2008 I do believe, and it's an O2 WRX. Um, now, I just realized I've got two layers of tent on the back window, like what I did on the front windows. So basically, I was heating it up to get it off, but now that I know that there's two layers, and it's gonna be easier just to separate those two layers, I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this one layer off and not even really care about it. The reason why you wanna use the steamer is because the glue that they use um, on these tents is um, easier to get off of the window if you reheat it. So that's that's why I'm using the the steamer. But with this one having two layers, it can stick to the first the layer that's actually on the window. The layer that's not on the window, as you can see, I'm not really caring too much. So. Rip that off, bleh. And I pulled my door panel off because it's a lot easier because a lot of the times your tent's gonna go underneath your door panel, the uh, sill on the door panel. So makes it just a little bit easier to go ahead and take off. So as you can see, now I'm using the steamer. It, it She squirts from time to time, but uh, that's helping me to loosen up the glue that is holding the tent onto the window and I've already got a little bit of a corner that's peeled up over here that's why I'm kind of focusing just on this corner so that I can make sure that I get that glue heated up real nice so that whenever I do remove this tent that glue and everything so of staying stuck to the window it comes off with the tent and that's gonna make it easier on my tent guy and actually save me a little bit of money even by removing the tent by myself i'm saving myself about a hundred bucks or so you know what i really like the what? bird shit right there oh, yeah. I do advise that while doing this, 
use extreme caution because this is basically boiling water that you were dealing with. The steam is very hot. Sorry. And if you got a brother that's recording for you, kind of like I do, make sure that he's aware of the cord and he doesn't <laughs> trip over it. Aren't you cute? Now this, this little steamer I'm using, I went out to Walmart and I bought it. It was like 20 bucks for it. So it's not very expensive. But like I said, I'm just doing this so that I can take and save a little bit of extra money, remove my own tent, and also save my, my tent guy a little more of a headache. All right, so we took a real quick break. And what I did uh, before I start removing the tent off of my back window is um, I took and I removed my third brake light because the location of it, the tent kind of went over it and I didn't want water getting into that and everything. And then um, I also kind of took the precaution to cover my seats uh, with a towel. Uh, figured that would help with moisture as well as uh, with moisture getting on the rear deck lid. Uh, but now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my steamer. Um, as you guys might be able to see or might not, but there's a little bit of the tent that's already coming up here on the driver's side rear. So that's where I'm going to start at. Is once this thing starts bubbling real good. Uh, I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down and hopefully this don't mess up the stickers I got on my back window. Now with doing the rear window, if uh, you've got an older car like what I do and it's got these rear defrost lines going across it, you wanna be extremely careful with that especially whenever you are cleaning it afterwards because generally like with cleaning what you're going to do is you're going to take like a razor blade and try to get the last little bit of tent off so all right so what just happened was uh we got pretty much all the tent off on the back Except for now we've got this one little piece that's going to be a pain in the arse. And it's right down here at the very bottom. If uh, you pan over, look, see where I'm steaming at? Uh, that's going to be the piece that uh, did not come off with the rest of the tent. So now we're having to steam that. And my steamer, it's a little too big to get into there. So that's why I'm kind of doing it from a distance. Hopefully uh, we can get it hot enough and we can just peel all that off in uh, one piece because for some odd reason with this car is like on every window somebody took and did one layer of tent along with a secondary layer of tent I don't know why but that seems to be what has happened so hopefully now that I've steamed it this much you know, my windows getting pretty steamy maybe that heated it up enough now to where we can peel that little bit off but um uh, we're gonna try it and see what happens now we did have one corner that kind of came up here i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get that little corner it's kind of gonna be hard to do so let's see here there we go See, this, this that old film it looks real nasty dirty probably been on the car for I don't know 13 14 years so that's what's giving us a hard time right now and it started coming off real good and then it just started to break away so I'll try and hurry up and give it another shot while it's still warm Hopefully I can get it all off in one piece. Oh, 
Nope. Looks like it's gonna come off in multiple pieces. Oh, there we go. That's the last little bit. So we got every bit of tent off of these windows. So now uh, hopefully Monday I can get the car to my tent guy and uh, we can take and go ahead and do some tent. I don't know what level I'm gonna go with yet. Might go 20, but other than that, I don't really know. So thanks for watching.